Okay, so let me tell you what happened to Diane Carroll after her affair with Sydney Poitier ended. So it was actually kind of around this time that she starred on the show Julia. It was an NBC show where she was basically the first African American woman to be cast in a non stereotypical struggle y role. And fun fact, we wouldn't see another black woman lead in her own show until Scandal. So it was around this time that she met David Frost who was a British TV show host that had his own show also on NBC. They met in spring of 1970 when he interviewed her. She said he just put her at ease, which was obviously an adjustment from the men she had dated previously. But at the time, David was allegedly dating a New York journalist and editor named Bernadette Carey. She bumped into a friend and in some small talk about David, she was like, oh, he's in California. And the friend was like, no, he's not. He's with Diane Carroll. And she was like, I'm sorry, what? And so when Bernadette called him up and was talking to him about it, he was like, yeah, I actually am. So I guess that was it. <laughs> Diane said her relationship to David eventually became exhausting. She was constantly being photographed and she felt like nobody really loved her but him. So then this made her start to doubt herself and she wondered like, do I really deserve to be with him? Which is wild. Like, ma'am, you're Diane Carroll. But so when they announced that they were actually engaged in November of 1972, the media was like, what? Oh my gosh. So he gave her a ring that was more than 200 years old. It was described to be an egg-shaped ring with several clusters of diamonds in an oval setting, okay? Either a mega cluster ring or a multi-halo ring, which I mean, realistically is the same thing. But when people asked, how many carrots is your ring? She was like, it's as big as David's heart, which... <laughs> That's, that's not the answer we're looking for, but okay. They also announced that they were gonna get married in London on April 22nd, 1973, which was also Easter weekend. And David confirmed that they would live in London as well. But their engagement caused quite the controversy. One, the media had started to speculate that both sides had broken up and moved on. And two, it added fuel to the fire that some black people had about Diane They felt like she was the white person in word. They thought that her role on Julia appeased white people more than it showed the reality of being a black working single mom. But then they also hated the fact that she was a single mom. They hated that the show didn't go hard on like black issues or issues that plague the black community. And more than anything, they're like, she never marries black men. She's always marrying a white man. She was married to that Jewish man. Now she about to marry this British man. They always had something to say about her like all the time. So when this topic would come up in interviews, it was either Jet or Ebony, I apologize. She said, where do you find your counterpart when you've had the good fortune to make it big in show business and you're constantly exposed to whites? Like, how am I supposed to find my equal when ain't no black folks around here? Well, about three months later, Diane actually got married. Surrounded by 14 guests in Las Vegas, Diane and her husband exchanged vows while her 12 year old daughter, Suzanne, listened on the phone. The man she married was not David Frost. The man she married was Freddie Glussman, but actually a businessman that she had met a year before. So Diane initially went to Vegas just to meet Freddie and ended up at his house getting married. This was a surprise to some as her engagement to David ended just two weeks before, but not to everybody because like I mentioned, people were speculating that her and David had actually broken up in the fall before. And maybe that was partially due to the fact that she was seen vacationing with Freddie for two weeks in Yugoslavia. You wanna know more about the marriage between Diane and Freddie or what really happened between her and David? You know I can't tell you everything in one sitting. So you're going to have to come back tomorrow for another I'll Tell You What. If you're new here, I'll Tell You What is a daily deep dive as some of the most epic and memorable weddings and marriages that have occurred throughout Black history. Our trip down memory lane is not met with malintent, but comes from a place of nostalgia, inspiration, but most of all, realism. But also don't forget to follow us here and everywhere you can find us. It is not a bruise. I hope you come back tomorrow for more about Mrs. Diane Carroll in another episode of I'll Tell You What, brought to you by Who I Do.